I mean, can I, can I just, um, I, uh, the first father, I think, was a really properly developed Mariology, is Severus of Antioch. Mm. Uh, looked a little askance in our tradition because he was an anti-Chalcedonian, but he was um, a very great um, uh, preacher, certainly, and theologian of the uh, first half of the sixth century. And in him, you do find, I think, for the first time, really properly developed uh, Mariology. Um, so, for example, he writes about that, that Mary is the uh, a great, she's the greatest of prophets um, uh, because she knew about the salvation her, her son would bring. She was an apostle in that um, uh, through her son she converted the world. Uh, she was a martyr because of the various, you know, well, uh, a sword will pier pierce your heart. Um, um, and this leads on, I'm writing this from his sermon of his here. Uh, what could be more divine than the mother of God? What could be higher than her? To come near her is to approach holy ground and reach to heaven. The mother of God is the yeast of the new creation, the root of the true vine of what we have become the branches through the germination of baptism. And, uh, and then he talks, of course, quite directly, with no sense anything unusual about it, about praying to Mary, uh, seeking Mary's prayers. I, I think compared to this, I find in modern devotion to Our Lady, um, two possible deviations. Now I said that the, the medieval stories, the miracles of Our Lady, they're all miracles of salvation. This is what her great gift, salvation. Yeah. Um, these, there are no stories of her actually healing disease. Now, why do people pray to the saints? Well, traditionally, it's above all um, to, uh, to deal with um, problems of illness, above all, um, uh, uh, famine, if there is, uh, plague, um, uh, foreign invasion, all, all the sort of tri awful trials and misfortunes of life that are such a pain and distraction for us all. Um, but the, the Virgin, her, inter her role is on a higher level than that, because, as I said, Cyril recognised, she, she gives us salvation. 